All right, yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some melodic guitar melodies, uh, kind of like Nick Mira did on Bandit by Juice World. Recipes Juice, by the way. But uh, we're gonna get right into this, so I'm gonna open FL Studio and let's get started. All right, so I got the BPM set at 90 because that's what Bandit was at. So I'm gonna go for something like really similar here. So uh, I believe Nick Mira used. Actually, I'm almost positive he used an Omnisphere patch, and I think it's the nylon string guitar. So as soon as Omnisphere is done loading here, we're gonna do that. All right, so I'm gonna go to uh, guitars right here, and we're gonna scroll down until we see the ends. I believe it is this. Where is it? Nylon. I don't think it's this one. Let's see. Alright, this could work. So uh, I'm gonna go into the piano roll. I go to my helpers, of course, and I'm gonna do F. Do do F minor. And then I'm gonna just try and find some chords real quick. So I'll be right back and you guys will hear the chords I lay down. All right, so here's the uh, the chords and the melody I laid down. I'm actually really liking how this sounds. So here, I'll let you guys take a little listen. that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the chords just all the chords right here and I'm gonna click alt s on my keyboard just to strum them gonna hit <coughs> I'm also gonna hit alt R just to randomize the velocities a little a little bit so I'm gonna do that and then hit control a and just bring down the velocity just a tiny bit just so it doesn't sound too harsh So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Omnisphere and grab a Keyscape piano and just copy the chords over just to try and fill out the rest of the melody. So I'm going to go to Keyscape and I'm probably just going to go for like, I usually like the uh, Custom C7 softest. Alright, so I'm liking how those sound together so far. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm, I'm stealing this. Like I said, I'm going purely for like a bandit type beat. So this is already really sounding like that. Um, but what something Nick Mira did is he took an extra chord and threw it right at the end here, just to add a little bit of, uh, just like a little bit more energy. So here, that's what this sounds like. <laughs> So right now I'm just processing this a little bit. I'm going to try and make like uh, just the guitar stand out a little more and the piano sit a little bit further in the background. So I'm going to add an echo on the guitar and change it to a fourth note and bring the feedback pretty high, but then we will have the uh, mix pretty low. So now the one thing that I'm going to add next is I'm going to try and find a nice ARP. And I'm pretty much just going to follow the uh, the keys from the piano. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
Control C, Control V, then go into here and delete this like high pitched part right here. Alrighty, so that's about it for the melody. So now I'm gonna move on to the drums. So I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna just try and find a simple hi hat. So I'm gonna go on my drum kit here. Just a simple, super easy two step right here. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to bring the velocity of the second one down and then I'm going to just repeat this. So it creates like a little groove. I'm going to add a clap right here. And I'm definitely looking for a snare. this for the next bar. feeling a hi hat in this too so I'm So that's pretty much everything for the drum so far. So now I'm gonna just add an 808 and we pretty much should be good. Then I'll just uh, I'll arrange the beat for you guys and you can see how it turned out. So for the 808, I'm gonna just literally follow the key of the uh, melody, which is F to C sharp to C.
right, so there's the 808, and then for the kick pattern, I'm gonna just uh, control A, control C on the 808, go to the kick, control V, and then hit uh, Alt K to transpose it all to C. And then now we should have a kick. For the arrangement of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the EQs off of the melodies and then I'm going to create an automation clip on the EQ that's on the one that's linked. So this mixer track that has all the melodies on it, I'm going to create um, an automation clip. So then I'm going to go to uh, the pet or the song mode, separate all these. <coughs> And then I'm gonna drag them out here and bring the melodies up here. And then have the drums right over here. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I don't want the bass taken out of the melody at first, so I'm gonna have this come in later. Like that. And then probably just have it go like this. So I won't have the ARP coming at first. So it just sounds like this. This section uh, once or twice let's see what do we get yeah so twice and right at the end here I'm gonna create an automation clip on the master volume oops and just have it fade out at this last section right here and that's pretty much it yeah that's all I got for this video guys if you uh, learned anything new enjoy the video or thought this beat was good lob me a like Subscribe for some more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. Turn it up, Q.